A Michigan man's sex abuse accusations against his former coach are rocking the world of U.S. figure skating tonight. A lawsuit accuses Richard Callahan of abusing the skater when he was a teenager. 7 Action News reporter Jen Johns is live in Bloomfield Hills tonight with the allegations. Jen? Well, the claims in this lawsuit are shocking. A prominent figure skating coach targeting a young up and coming skater, Adam Schmidt. While the Detroit Skating Club here in Bloomfield is not listed as a defendant in this lawsuit, it is where some of the alleged abuse occurred in the late 1990s. Schmidt's attorneys say he's speaking out now in hopes of protecting other young athletes. His hands were starting to go under my clothes. Adam Schmidt was just 14 years old in 1999 when he says his figure skating coach Richard Callahan started sexually abusing him. Schmidt, who recently shared his story with ESPN, says it started with on the ice form coaching. Where he'd start to say, okay, let's work on it some more. And that's when it started to kind of change. The alleged abuse happened at the Onyx in Rochester and the Detroit Skating Club in Bloomfield. Schmidt claims he was also abused in 2001 at a figure skating competition in San Diego. According to a civil suit filed this week in California, Schmidt's abuse started the same year Callahan, a well-known coach with U.S. figure skating, was accused of abusing another minor in the New York Times. After that 1999 report, how do the people at U.S. figure skating not do something about this? He bounced around and then ended up here at the Onyx. According to the complaint, U.S. figure skating, quote, failed to investigate, failed to warn the plaintiff of these prior bad acts, and did nothing to inhibit Callahan's access to minor children. They helped Richard Callahan have access to little boys just like Adam. U.S. figure skating would not comment on the lawsuit. Records show Callahan, who was suspended from coaching last year, now lives in Florida. We attempted to reach him for a comment, but weren't able to. And that was Jen Sean's reporting.